Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Ever Music, and as always, if you've got a question regarding the guitar, playing something, music technology, leave a comment below because I will either answer you, make a video, or at least answer your question, and it might be helping yourself or thousands of other people. So always, if you've got something on your mind, and of course, if you don't feel brave enough to leave a comment publicly, send me a private message over on Instagram or Facebook. Otherwise, let's get started. So today's question is all about pickup positions. Now, if you haven't heard of pickups, what are pickups are, are these here, you can think of them as sort of microphones for an electric guitar, but they really, what they are is they're magnets with thousands of copper wire sort of surrounding them, and they pick up the sound. So guitar pickups, they pick up the string vibrations. And now we're gonna be talking about humbuckers and single coils. I'm gonna go through exactly what those are. And you can hear with, uh, let's go clean, crunch, and maybe full on metal distortion, what they sound like in all the different positions. So we're gonna use this guitar, and we're gonna use this guitar where you've got single coils instead of the humbuckers. So you'll be able to hear exactly what they sound like, but otherwise, let's dive right on in. So diving right on in, the guitar that we're using to check out the single coil tones is the Ernie Ball Music Man Luke model. Now, what that basically means is the company's Music Man, but the Luke model actually came from Steve Lukather from Toto. So this is his signature guitar. Amazing, uh, a bit of a shame I have to give it back, unfortunately, it was so good borrowing it. But let's dive on in and check out this guitar. Now, noticing that this guitar has single coil pickups, that's why we're checking it out. So with a single coil, you've got the one magnet and you've got all those wires, like shown in this diagram, and you don't have another magnet right next to it cancelling out. So what that does mean is it with a humbucker, just like the name suggests, you're bucking the hum or you're taking away from some hum. Because some single coil pickups can be quite noisy. But see, the thing is with a single coil, you get this really distinctive sound and sort of rounded sort of bell-like notes, or to me anyway. But with the humbucker, often those sort of bell-like qualities are taken away. But I'll let you be the judge. So let's just check out some chords with the front single coil. So really rich, full, a lot of mid-range, a lot of bass. But still really clear and still usable for solo notes as well. But still clear enough for recording. Okay, so we're back and now we're using my personal guitar. Again, another Ernie Ball Music Man guitar. This one's the Valentine and it's got two different humbuckers instead of two single coils and a humbucker like the red guitar you can see behind me. So let's check out the clean. Uh, again, same chords as before, but on a neck humbucker. <laughs> So again, you may like that sound. To me, it's it's a lot bigger. There's a maybe a higher, slightly out. Uh, so now you may like that sound. To me, it's a lot bigger, sort of fatter. But it's also to my ears a little bit mushy. Like the notes are sort of bleeding into to each other. You're not getting as much clarity as the single coils. But that's just my opinion. What what do you think? Really, really nice. Now the next position on the guitar, if you've got single coils actually uses the single coil in the front and the single coil in the middle. Let's check that out. Mental note, I'm going to try and use the same chord so you can hear the difference. But what you're getting is the sort of uh, a lot more bass response from the neck and then a lot more mid sort of presence from the middle. And combined together, you get a best of sort of both worlds. If I go back to the neck. Bit more power just that one position too so that is the sound of both of the pickups together it's great for sort of cleaner sort of funk passages because it's a nice sort of hybrid between those two positions now next position is you can have both of the humbuckers together so we can do that Now again, any pickup in this neck position is always gonna be warmer, and any pickup in the bridge position is gonna have a little bit more bite and a little bit more treble. So joining the two together, you get that sort of mid-range response. Which is actually really, really lovely, and if you roll the volume back just a tiny bit, you could easily get some acoustic uh, songs happening.
really, really pretty. Now, if we go down the next position, it's only that middle single coil and it's gonna be thinner and brighter as well. Again, here's the neck. And here's the middle. So a slight difference, it may be hard sort of to tell the difference coming through on your phone, so definitely check out with headphones. Now the next position, unfortunately, this isn't a three single coil guitar, like a sort of Fender Strat sort of thing. So I can do the next position, but what it is is it's a mixture of the single coil and the bridge humbucker, which is that different type of pickup. Again, a lot more power, and as we go into the last pickup position, it's that full humbucker. With this, the amp model that I've chosen, there's a little bit of reverb, as you can hear. But it's a small Fender-like amp, so the, the point is when you're using a more of a higher output pickup, like this bridge pickup, you'll actually start to get a little bit of distortion. So sort of starting to get into that classic rock sort of territory. Now if I push in the volume pot on this particular guitar, you can get a boost. So there you go, quite different sounds and all from a clean setting. Now, which Pickup position is best for clean. Really, it's, it's up to you. I prefer sort of rolling off the volume a little bit and using the neck. And then if you need more sort of volume for a solo boost, rolling up the volume or activating a boost or like a pedal. Still really round, still thick and rich. You don't necessarily need to solo using a neck humbucker. All right, let's check out the next guitar on this same setting. And the back humbucker position, we can check that one out too. Roll up the volume. But let's add that boost. There it is. So again, different sounds. And just think, you might be thinking to yourself, why do you need so many pickups? Why do you need so many guitars? Think about it as you're an artist, you're a painter, and you're gonna paint you know, a beautiful scene. You've got a river and you've got some grass and you've got different things going on, right? You can't do them all with the same color. So that's how I think about different guitars and different pickups. The more guitars you have, or the more sort of varying guitars you have, the different types of pickups, you can get different sounds, which equate to different sort of colors in music. Now with the sort of neck um, humbucker, it's still sort of nice and rich for solos. But if you want to get the most out of it, definitely a boost or a sort of a boost in front of an amp, like a pedal. Nice, just thick and rich and creamy. If I'm ever soloing, my sort of tonal uh, choice would be humbucker with a boost, just a rounded notes, just singing sort of melodies, really lovely. Really nice. Now we're gonna check out sort of a Marshall, sort of a rock style setting. And again, we'll go through all of the same different pickups. Let's do that. All right, so we're back and we're checking out some distorted, sort of crunchy tones. Think of it as like a Marshall sort of amp. Quite a bit of distortion and the guitars are gonna sound very, very different between different single coils or different humbuckers and in different positions. Let's check it out. Again, same chords, just so your ears can hopefully remember the difference. Okay, so as you can hear, a little bit of hum going on between the distortion, but that's the thing with single coil pickups. You can get sort of a great uh, sort of vibe, a great almost sort of vocal-like tone, 
but you are gonna get a little bit of noise because you don't have that second magnet sort of canceling the hum. Okay, so checking out the neck humbucker first with uh, that cranked Marshall amp. So for chording, quite sort of thick and rich, but still lots of character for distortion. Doesn't quite have that sort of single coil bell-like scooped sort of sound, but it depends what sort of tone you're after. Uh, let's try the middle positions. So a little bit less depth, a little bit brittle there compared. So middle position, as you can hear, is quite brittle for leads, but really nice for sort of courting. Let's check out both of the uh, humbuckers together. That's good for, that'd be, I'd use that sound as like a chorus where you don't need something sort of really sort of thick and punchy, but you want, you don't want something clean, you want sort of in between. It's quite nice. Let's go the uh, back position using the middle and the bridge. And finally the bridge position, and again, this is quite a high output humbucker. So as you can hear, a uh, big sort of chunky for chords, more sort of screamy for solos. As opposed to the neck single coil for solos. Which still has that sort of bell-like quality. So again, those are a bit of the differences. Which one did you prefer? Definitely let me know. And then finally the bridge humbucker. Definitely like classic rock sort of territory. Great for that sort of screaming lead sound. But it depends sort of what lead sound you're after as well, because both the single coil and the humbuckers are very different. If you can boost the neck pickup sort of with a pedal or any sort of volume boost. Let's check out the bridge with the boost. Thank you again for the question. Again, if you've got something on your mind, something you want to know about, leave a comment below. I might feature you in the next video. If you want to learn more about sort of guitar theory and learning how to read sheet music, check out this playlist. Or if you want to learn more riffs and songwriting, check out this playlist. Anything else you want to know, send me a message over on Instagram. I'll see you again really soon.